Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today is Pedro Jesus. Pedro, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you, Robert? Fantastic. Thanks for coming on the show to talk about a new feature, uh, which first showed up in the current version of Visual Studio, uh, 1714, and will also, of course, be in Visual Studio 2026. But we are, of course, talking about XAML Live Preview. And before we dive into the awesomeness of it, why don't you take a minute to introduce yourself to the viewers? Sure. So my name is Pedro, and I am a mobile developer that uses .NET MAUI all the day long. And I also have been contributing to the .NET MAUI project and the community to Kit as well. Excellent. And where are you located? I'm located in Brazil, Minas Gerais. Fantastic. All right. So XAML Live Preview does what? What is it? Oh, it's amazing tool <clears throat> that was introduced on the Visual Studio 2022 and allow us uh, mobile developers or even desktop developers that use XAML to draw the UIs or create the UIs, if you will, uh, to get more a, a better tool and a better sense on how to design the controls. So we can see a preview directly on the Visual Studio. So if you have a small monitor, a small screen, that is fantastic because you don't need to leave Visual Studio for that. It works integrated with Hot Reload, so you can make changes on XAML and see the open uh, alive. And you also have uh, tools that let you see if the controls are aligning the way that you want, if they're the correct size and their correct position. So it's just fantastic and a safe, a safe timer for us UI developers. So it's basically a design time tool to help you build UI. Yes. Why do you correct. need that? You can just type XAML all day long, like we've been doing for the last <laughs> however many years. <laughs> yeah. Like even me, I have almost seven years developing with XAML, but sometimes I cannot get uh, on my mind what the XAML looks like, what the UI looks like. So having this tooling saves my time, uh, reducing that developer mental loop, like uh, do the changes, build, deploy, and see that that changes in life. Okay, so let's see it in action. Sure, let's go. So <clears throat> we are here on the Visual Studio and I am already having an application running. In this case, I'm running directly on Windows. And here is my XAML Live Preview to window. And as you can see, I can move my mouse in across that window and it will highlight the controls and the layouts that I have on my screen. And it will show me useful information like the background color, the, the frame size, so I can know exactly how bigger is my control. If there is a text control, I can see the, the type font and the font size as well. Also, uh, I can go directly on my UI and if I click at this button, I it drives me directly to the XAML Live Preview on the Visual Studio. So if it, you don't have this window, the easiest way to, to open it is directly from your application in the bug mode. Yeah, but you can also get to it from before you run the application, right? Yes. Go to debug, windows, it's there. Yes, is that correct? Windows. Put the bug windows and then you there have it. There it is, XAML Live Preview. Okay. And you can just run from there as well. And here I have just a uh, small application and I will be very quickly showing some features. And one of them is that Live Preview, XAML Live Preview does support multi-Windows application. So if I create like my second window, I have here my application now with two windows open it. And I can go and click here. And now you can see that on my XAML Live Preview. And I can also click here and select the window from the from this combo box here. Up to developer how they want to to see different windows there. So let's close these windows. The application is still running. And let's go to more advanced steps, right? Like steps that- So before you do that, back up a sec. So if you're back in Visual Studio, hovering over, say, the main page button, and you now want to change the padding, can you, how do you, can you go directly to the line of XAML from there? So if I click on this button, as you can see here on my XAML editor, it highlights the control. Okay. So I can do the changes directly here. So for example, padding, let's put 10 and zero. So on left and right, and I will have a zero from, from others. And also I can do that on this window here, Live Property Explorer. 
So I have all these properties, but this will not change on my XAML. So I can tweak here the values and go there and put on XAML. That way I don't get lost and track on what I would like to do. So here I put a big number, 40, on all the, the size, on all the positions, just that way you can see the difference. The XAML hasn't updated. Yeah, the XAML doesn't because I is Live Property Explorer. And if uh, uh, a testing window, so I would do not mess with my XAML, but I can try different values and see if they will look better. And when I leave that value, then I can uh, put them on XAML. Okay. Because these values will be cleaned up between the bug sessions, so we will not mess up with my Y. So it's and basically a sandbox, if you will. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. And I have here the main page, and I navigate to normal page, but now I have more controls here. And I have an example here of the image control, and I specify it here. And if I do a right click on my control, then I have those two rulers vertically. And this first value here is related to the, to the corner of this window. So I know that this control is uh, 347.2 uh, with its from that window. Line here is 38.5 uh, with its size from this other line. So the size is just in with it is just this value here, this more left, more right value. And on desktops, these values are in DPI, so they may change uh, depending on your screen resolution or monitor DPIs. And for Android, since this also supports Android emulators and Android devices, it's uh, on pixels. Uh, right click, but now holding my shift key, then I have those vertical rulers here. So this will show like, uh, this image has a, uh, is starting 32 from the top on my window. And have in front line here uh, the, those two uh, now horizontal lines are 184.8 this can help me to see the size of the image if this is aligning so if I'm zoomed out here you can see like with those rulers those lines I can have an idea what is my image is really located because I am really really bad if I do not have this like mm, is very aligning is centered or not now I, I am 100% sure oh, very yeah. nice and I just click on this button here, then I can show and hide the, those lines. Or if I want to delete all these lines, I just click on this red X here and everything is gone. Cool. Good thing with the Zemilavi preview is that I can see the visual tree. So if I click on this button, I can see now this tool window here where it show me uh, the live tree of my of my application. So I have my application, I have a shell, then I have a main page, and inside of my main page, then I have those controls here. And as you can see, over my mouse, over it, it is highlighted on the same live preview. So it's way, way easier to find out where I am and what I'm looking for. And also, it, it highlights me on the code where that control is. Right, so you click on one of those, it takes you right to the XAML. Got it, okay. So let's just do something little fun here. And I have a code snippet so that way we don't uh, lose too much time here. Let me copy it, paste it here, save. And let me just comment this out. So I have here now my control that is a label using font awesome and an entry. And I would like to know if they are uh, aligning uh, correctly in the center. So what I can do is using the rules that I mentioned before. So I do a uh, holding the shift key on my keyboard and I right click on the mouse. And then I have uh, those two lines here showing me the height of that. And I know that this value 54.4 is the increase height. So I will add a new horizontal ruler and I will try to paste it. So that will be 27-ish. So 27.2, because it, it is easy to, to see because if this value is equal to that one, so I'm in the middle. And now I use this as a reference to myself to say, okay, this is on the position that I would like it to be, or should I, let's say a translation Y here, increase or decrease that position to make it centered, you know? So having those rules here, 
it will help me a lot to to customize my UI to put my elements on the right position. That's nice. And the other one that I would like to to share with uh, developers is also another math that probably they will not use it too much, but when you understand that, it's easier to use also this tool here. So let's say that I want to, oops, not this one, that I want to know the position here. So it says 72, but the 72 based on, on this left side here. So if I draw, for example, a uh, box view here, on my uh, grid row two, and I will do a high request of two, and I will do the request of uh, 137.6. Let's see if that renders, okay, it renders right here, but it's not the right position that I would like to be, so uh, vertical options at the end, nice. And now I have, uh, that this layout has a padding of 30. So from the left, I have a 30 padding here. So if I want my, and I put horizontal options to start. And if I want my, my box view to be on that position, like at, at the beginning, I will uh, remove that 30. Oh, it's, oh, of course, I put in the control in the right place. It's right here. So now I can see that my box view is, is uh, at the beginning. So if I remove these 30 points, then I have it on the beginning of the control. So this is the start point. And then I can put more minus 30 plus 72. Then I will have 42, I believe. So 42, and you can see that is I am uh, 42, 41, sometimes there is an offset by one on these rules because they, I, I see it as a pattern. I believe that to not put the rule very, very above on the control. But my idea here is to show you the math on how you can calculate the position of each control on, on that screen. So I need to account the margins and the paddings if I want to position my controls right. And I just used this box view here as a reference to see if my math is correct. So when I understand that math on the, how the things are, are handling on my window, it becomes too much easier to use this tool as well, because now I can put my eyes, okay, this is 72, but 72 related to what? Or related to the, to the corner of my window. And then off that, everything's relative to, to the next line. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's, if you want to get your app exactly correctly lined up, then it really makes it more useful. Yeah. Like a pixel perfect application, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. So that's really helpful. I believe that is all that I have to show in general of XAML Live Preview. Of course, you have more options, like if you want to change the, the line colors because the background to, to becomes more visible and also change the overall background as well. But in, in general, I believe that is it. I mean, it's an amazing tool. It's really simple to use when you get used to that and it's a life saver for sure. Yeah, that is awesome. It, that gives you just another tool to building, uh, to doing a better job of building your UIs. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Now, how does that work with Hot Reload? Because you know, before this, up to this point, we've had the ability to run the app and then we change the XAML and we can see the screen change. So do they work together? Are they used in separate scenarios? Um, they can be used on together and separately. So if you don't want to use the XAML Live Preview, you can just open your application and do the changes in the hot hello do we work there and you can see on your device the the changes on the screen so if i open my application you can see that the changes are applied to the application itself so if developers feel they are more productive just looking on the mobile device or the or they have another monitor running the application, go for there. And if they need more tooling to see if everything's aligned, everything's the right place, then jumping on the XAML Lobby Previewer. And do that, use hot load or not hot load with XAML Lobby Preview, and they can use hot load without XAML Lobby Preview as well. Okay. Because when you use the when you use the live preview, the application is running. So you can go into the XAML, make changes, and see them occur in the hot reload. You can also go into the XAML live preview and 
the live property explorer and play around and then go back and change the XAML and it will update the app in real time. So you can use them together in that manner if you want, right? Yeah, that is correct. And Visual Studio in this tool because it gives you choices like, oh, I don't, I like to use it this way. You can use it. a lot of, of opportunity. Awesome. All right. So you've used 2026 to this point, I assume? Yeah, I have been using it on my daily uh, job and the contributions to open source. And I have to say, I love it. What, what do you like best about it? What, what are the you know, differences do you notice? So there is the new profiler agent on the GitHub Copilot. I love that. I can ask it to, to run a profiler, a specific profiler, and help me to figure out what uh, those numbers are meaning. And drives me directly to the place where is the bottleneck is, and then I can uh, solve. So it saves a lot of time. The performance is amazing. Uh, loading large solutions is way, way faster than using the, the old version. And also the UI, I feel that's UI way, way more beautiful than the previous one. Enjoying all, all that. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming on and showing us this stuff. Um, oh, thanks for it's very, very interesting. Very nice tool to have. Um, or a nice addition to the product. And again, available in 2022, 17, 14, and also 26. Um, and obviously, we assume that it, as it evolves, it will evolve possibly more in 26 than back in 2022. But at the moment, it looked pretty similar, I think. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And we will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox. Thank <laughs> you.